So we've stopped at this uh, small village and it's probably only half a mile long. It's from right there where that, where that uh, gate is all the way to where that truck is. And it's just four little restaurants, a couple of hotels and some snack shops. And we've stopped here for food. I think a plate of rice and beef and chicken is traditional Malagasy food and it's only about a dollar. Um, so I'll show that to you now. This is the beef. Beef sauce. Beef sauce. Some rice. Rice. And then I think he brings chicken, yes? Okay. So, traditional Lunch, bon appetit. This is the chicken and a gravy. This tastes just like um, rice and rice and gravy, beef gravy that we have in Louisiana. So it's very good. It's a good lunch. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Everyone now is showing up for for lunch. <laughs> it's a much different climate from previous days. But now I'll walk through the town and show you a little bit of uh, what it has to offer. There is a snack shop, so you can go here, for example, and look at what they have. Looks like salt, coffee, coffee, maybe sugar. They have everything you need, all the water, cigarettes, crisps. So you can come to this small village, and when you stop for lunch, you have everything you'll need here on the street. It looks like a, uh, a hotel here. It's the, these villages are very small and as you drive hours and hours and hours around the island of Madagascar, you'll come through these small towns that are just half a mile long. You could see the roofs here are made from palm trees. The actual structure of the building is made from the trunk of the bamboo, uh, of, the, of the palm. Bonjour. Bonjour. She's selling fish. There's fish, tea, beer, energy drinks, uh, everything that you need here. It's very good. Très bien. And so you'll see large truck trucks will come through these small towns. These are truck drivers. They'll stop at uh, these restaurants or little hotels just to uh, have a nap. People are selling crisps and things like this. Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Ça va bien toi? Good, yes, bien, bien. Yeah. Thank you. So you can see in the, the roofs here made from the, the palm. Uh, also, the, this is a Kofifi Zone National uh -huh. restaurant, small cafe. Bonjour. Hello. They're selling these uh, little fruits here in the bag. These are small little fruits that are quite bitter. People put them in. People put them in uh, uh, rum. I don't know what this is. I think this is plantain. Plantain? Banan? Banan? Banan. Yeah, little packets of uh, bananas. Plantain here that are in individ wrapped individually. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. These, uh, these small little villages are, are uh, pop up every hour or so. Thankfully, they, they, they exist because uh, you can go hours and hours without seeing a single thing. And thankfully, these small restaurants and uh, little cafes and snack shops are around because you'll be on the road forever gazing at the beautiful landscape, uh, trying to keep safe because there are bandits everywhere, I hear. And uh, they especially come for tourists. But that's why I've come to Madagascar and hired a driver. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ciao. Bye -bye. Merci. Bye-bye. We are now getting back in the truck and continuing our journey.
is a Malagasy platter of different food. So we're at a little lunch stop here on the side of the road. Let me show you. Malagasy. This is sausage. Malagasy sausage. Sausage, Malagasy sausage. This uh, looks like uh, chicken. 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 And this one? Uh, beef. Beef. And then? Then bullet. Wow. Bullet. It all looks good. A little this one, a little, a little, two sausage. Yeah, two or one. Two. It looks too good. I've just eaten breakfast, but I have to have some more. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, some, yes, yes, some beef. A little bit. And uh, maybe some here. Look at that. It's a little snack shop. Chicken? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. One, <laughs> one, one piece of chicken. Yeah, hey, that's what I really like. So we have uh, a little snack of uh, of different meats that we can uh, we can sit here and eat. I draw, what are you having? <laughs> Pork. Pork feet, feet. Pork feet. Yeah. Salad, rice, yeah. and some broth. Is it good? good? Very good. Phenomenal. We're going to find out uh, how much this is. Yeah, combien? Okay. What up, Michael? Look at that. Crawfish. Wow, you have crawfish here. This is uh, uh, combien? Uh, no, no. Uh, how do you say? Look, this is crawfish. 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 Wow. Uh, guys, a crawfish. Fish, fried fish. Look at that. Wow. So I'm gonna try this Malagasy sausage. I'm, I don't know what's inside of it. Uh, uh, meat, uh, meat and uh... Oh no! I'm not a huge fan. Um, it almost tastes raw inside. I don't know, what is that, bean? No, no, it's uh, just uh, uh, potatoes. Potatoes, that's what I'm tasting. So it looks like it's pork and potato inside, according to, uh, I wish that would focus. It's very difficult to see, because it's a stupid GoPro, but there are potatoes inside of the casing. I'm also enjoying a healthy THB beer. And spring roll. These aren't as crispy as I'd like them to be, but it's because uh, it's a roadside snack shop. It's good though. This is a piece of beef. Let's try this one. It's very tough. It's salty. But this is good. This is good for drivers. You keep this in a bag on the road, you just eat it as you drive. <laughs> this is a Malagasy spring roll. Inside is a potato, little bits of pork. Um, you can tell that they put some peppers here on the outside that they fry this in. It's bindi because it's probably been sitting in that basket for hours. So it's not really fresh, but it's still good. Solid snack spring roll. Like I said, this is the real lunch. This is what you really want to have. This is pork foot, salad, rice, some broth. Ah, how is it? Good. Ça c'est bon? C'est très bon. C'est très bon. C'est très bon. Everything's really good here. 
I got a little a little chicken chicken uh chicken wing. Yeah. Solid chicken. Ça c'est bon. The good thing too, there's always street dogs. Oh, I gotta watch out. Don't hit the people. Get it, buddy. Well, that's a proper Malagasy roadside lunch. You can basically travel around the entire island without having to stop at a big fancy hotel or a restaurant. I mean, it's cool to do that too, to just see what you can get for the amount of money you, you'd pay for, for, for that kind of service. But really, all these roadside snack shops will, are enough. They all have beer. They all have meat and rice. It's all about a dollar or two. That's the cuisine. As I travel deeper into the highlands of Madagascar, we increase elevation, it gets colder. So you can notice at this snack shop, everyone is wearing coats, jackets, scarves. And you can see all the cars here stop as they're traveling throughout the island, but it's, uh, it's quite cold. So everyone you can see in an African country, all wearing jackets, all wearing scarves. Everyone is, uh, it's very cold here. It's very windy and people are quite cold. It's, uh, it's quite a fascinating sight to see. Um, I myself am wearing a jacket. You can see the hills in the distance behind me. How cold do you think it is? It's uh, like uh, 19 degrees. 19 degrees. Yeah, 19 degrees. So 19 Celsius is, fuck, what is that? Uh, that's like 50 degrees, 50 degrees Celsius, I think. Shit, I don't know. Um, <coughs> times two, so it's like, so that's 19 is like 38, and then you add 60. 80, 90, that can't be right, it's not 90 degrees. Maybe it's add 30, 67, 80. <laughs> So at 30, maybe that's right. That's about, I think that, I think you add 30. So that's 60 degrees. It feels about a cold 60 degrees right now in Fahrenheit. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's cold. Look, you can get waffle fried chips in the roadside snack shop in Madagascar. Chips, Valle Solar. Waffle fries.